Welcome to another video. My name is Chase. I'm Oliver. And I'm Dylan. And together, we're Project Today. In today's video, we are going to be filling out and completing a checklist, a to-do list. We did this once before, and today we're going to use it to almost finish the interior build of the box truck. We just have the base and what? The structure. Like I, I, Chase keeps saying we're finishing the interior. We got a lot more to like do. Like at the end of this video, it's not gonna look like the interior is done. But the structure, the core part of the interior will be done. We have a lot of work to do though. Lots of big projects to get yeah. done. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And also, look at our makeshift clipboard. So now, like in the last video, oh. the to-do list, <laughs> the wind, just, of course, right as you talk about it, it does that. That's really funny. That is really funny. We're gonna start our to-do list by first building the side storage cabinet for our truck and then building the upper cabinets. Then we're going to install all of those cabinets into the truck. And once that's done, we can move on to the rest, which includes screwing in the kitchen and finishing the walls. Finally, we're gonna put trim around all the windows to clean it up and start our tile backsplash by our kitchen. <laughs> so like we said before, lots of work to do today. Let's get to it. Woo! Woo! My first task today is I'm gonna to try to build this side storage cabinet. Here, if you wanna see the diagram right here. I've planned out all the dimensions and now it's just three easy steps. Step one, I'm gonna cut this wood. As I described when I talked about the ultimate setup for a van build in one of our previous videos, I always have a pair of earplugs in my pocket. And I use this for the circular saw. It's very loud, you know, want to protect my ears, my hearing, of course. Now, I've been using the same pair of earplugs for about three weeks, I'd say. I'm not even gonna show you them because they're gross. <laughs> they're gross. So today, I'm treating myself to a brand new pair Look how nice these are, so beautiful. You know, this is how you know it's gonna be a good day. Step two, Craig. That was not supposed to happen. And while Dylan is cutting wood behind me, I'm going to get started building the upper cabinets. Now these are special because so far we have built everything ourselves but for the first time in this entire build in this entire conversion we bought <laughs> the product that we're going to be installing these are from ikea they are knox holt cabinets that dylan and i bought from ikea yesterday so my first trip to ikea i think was a success and now we are going to get to unboxing these getting them put together and hopefully soon fully installed in our truck Okay, there are a lot of steps, but I think it's gonna be doable. I hope, I hope it won't be too hard. <laughs> Let's go try it out. <laughs> and that right there is a completed cabinet. Woo! They're gonna look really awesome inside the truck too. They're great. And now we just need to make seven more of them. Woo! <laughs> It'd be cool to like have them stack up, I think. It'll be one stack here and one stack here and it'll be like boop, boop, boop. And there you have it. Eight amazing IKEA cabinets. Got those finished, it's kind of late at night, you can kind of see it's dark out behind me. And I'm very excited to finally say that we can check something off of our to-do list. Build upper cabinets. Done, <laughs> see you guys tomorrow. Okay, day two of our checklist video. Take a good look at the truck right now because very soon it is gonna look a lot different than how it currently does. 
we're gonna try to get three things done on our list right now. Here's the list. Hello. <laughs> we are gonna try to install the cabinets, screw in the kitchen, and finish the walls right now. <laughs> can we do it? Can we? We can do it. We can do it. Yes, we can. Yes. Okay, well Chase and Dylan are working on the cabinets over there. I'm gonna work right here on this task, finishing the walls. I've already cut all these pieces that are gonna go on this side right there. Now we just have to install them. Let's do it. Hi. Five of the seven pieces in, or how many are there? <laughs> Five, yeah, I was right. Five yeah, of the seven pieces in. And we've got a couple more on the bottom here that we have to cut around our little gas tank here. So I'm gonna go cut that now. The wall is almost done. Uh -oh. All right, cut these notches out. Last two pieces, let's go. So we're trying to fit a little wood piece right here. And I was putting that piece in and just snapped. But look at how cool that snap was. It's gone. Yeah, we should, <laughs> we should just keep that piece. Look at that. <laughs> That's funny. What? Here I am holding this piece <laughs> waiting for Chase to drill. <laughs> And then he goes building? over and helps you in your filming bit. Yeah. What well, the heck? Worth it. Worth it for the lightning. <laughs> Go help Dill. Go help Dill. Okay, so as you just saw, we drilled two pieces of wood up there at the top, and we are going to drill our cabinets directly into those. So let's do that now. We got cabinets. This side is done. Look at them. Woo! They look you can put stuff in there, look. Hey, store it away. You don't need that, it's fine. <laughs> On to the next side. <laughs> you might also notice we changed clothes. That's because we had everything set up last night and now it's a, it's a new day. So <laughs> we were gonna try and make it kind of slick, but you know. Have to acknowledge that. <laughs> Here's our last piece, the final cabinet. And there you go. That is all of our cabinets completed. completed. This whole wall looks amazing because now all of the wall is in, the cabinets are in. That it's is so beautiful. beautiful. All right, and with that, the cabinets, install cabinets. Boom. Done. Done. Boom, let's go. Oops. You start? Me? Yeah. No, you. No, you start. Yeah, you start. Why me? Okay, I'll start. No, <laughs> no he should start. I'll just start. I'll just start. start. Okay. Now that we put all the cabinets in, we're gonna divide and conquer a little bit. I'm gonna go and start working on the drawer slides for our side storage cabinet. And then these guys are going to Screw in the kitchen. Screw in the kitchen. Gonna start to screw that in, and then we're gonna start working on the uh, tile backsplash. Let's do it. Let's do it.
How you doing, Ollie? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> this looks really funny. I was just saying, you know, why not have just like a dog bed here instead of a kitchen? It's like perfect size. To be fair, dude, one of us should sleep here. Or or a real bed, like, look at that. You want this to be your bed? Sure. You do, you have talked about how you want your bed to be closest I'll to have, the kitchen. What no, if we put yeah, your bed in the bed kitchen? Here. I'm down with this, this works for me. <laughs> Our kitchen is fully screwed in. <laughs> Come on! The best way to test is by Oliver and I to try and rip this thing out. Ready? One, two. It's probably not a good idea. We probably shouldn't have Woo. to do that. But it's in there. Both frames. Yeah! Let's cross off the list. Where's our, where's our list? Do you have the Sharpie? Okay. There we go. This kitchen is fully screwed in. Let's go! I have one goal today, and that's to make significant progress on our side storage cabinet. Now that the three steps that I talked about are done, we have a completed frame of our cabinet. However, now comes the hard part. We're planning on putting three drawers in, as you can see in this image. Three drawers and then a little door at the bottom. We built one drawer, drawer, why is drawer so hard to say? We built one drawer already in our kitchen video. However, this one has three, and they all have to be lined up together. I'm a little stressed about this project, honestly. Don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, but that makes me excited too. It's cool, it's cool to have a challenge. I'm gonna try to do as much as I can of this today. Let's get started. Okay, this is probably not exactly the standard way to do things, but this is how I've done it, and we'll see if it works. I have basically the two sides of the cabinet. Oh, it's flipped the wrong way. These two eventually will come out together into one drawer. So I've built the sides first, and now I'm going to build kind of the box around these, gonna connect them on the bottom. Not sure if this is gonna work. So now I'm gonna cut out the bottom of all of these drawers and connect them together, connect these two parts together. Okay, here it is just clamped. So of course not final solution, it's not glued together. I think it's going to work. I didn't finish everything up last night, so back out here again to glue the bottoms on the drawers and then finish the drawers themselves and put them in. Let's see how it goes. And while Dylan glues on this amazing new day, I've got another project to be working on. It's going to be finishing the walls fully. Yesterday we installed the cabinets, we installed some plywood, Really, everything is covered on the walls except we just one small part of the van in between the kitchen and the couch. That's exactly what I'm gonna be doing right now. Cutting some pieces of wood to fit that little space. There we go. Nice. It fits. Now I'm gonna do a cut. Six more, I think. <laughs> we can't use this piece. Look at that. Look at that. It's destroyed. Ah. <laughs> I didn't think I'd actually do that. All right, there we go. That's all of them cut. Let's go install. Don't know why I walked that way, the truck is over there. Another really cool part about this little project that I'm working on right now is that we are about to cover up the very last piece of visible HPS in the entire truck. That's really, really cool because it's been literally purple HPS on our walls for like over a month now. So it's really cool that for the first time ever, we are going to fully have that covered up. Really sick. There we go. There we go. Look at that. That's it. 
No more XPS. Although I will be honest, I do still need to glue this in place because right now I think if I hit it or something, it would all fall over. <laughs> so I'll go glue it, but that's it. We're done with the wall. We can officially cross it off of our list. Here we go. Boom. Done with the walls. Let's go. Now that these drawers are all done gluing, they're ready to be tested. I'm gonna put them in here and make sure that they all work. I was finally able to get all three on. Now we see how well they work in unison. Number one. Pretty good. Two. Okay, also pretty good. Number three. Wow. I'm pleasantly surprised. They seem to all work. <laughs> I actually did not expect that. With the amount of struggle I, it took to get these all on, I thought for sure there was gonna be a problem. Definitely a problem there. This one does not wanna go back in. I'm not fully sure what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna try to deduce what this problem is that's causing this to not wanna go in. Try to solve that and just slowly tinker with this thing until hopefully it's in a working state. I'm gonna do my best, we'll see. All right, we're gonna start our tile backsplash now. So what you see behind me, I've got laid out our tile actually, is we picked out this really cool kind of matte blue, navy blue tile. It's gonna go really well with our couch. And so yesterday I cut out this big half inch piece of plywood that's gonna go against our insulation and around our window. So we have a flat surface to put the mortar on before we tile and that's gonna be super important. So we're gonna do that, but right now I have to cut out a little hole for our outlet in our kitchen, and then this will be ready to be put up. All right, so our plywood is up and I've cut out a hole for our outlet and pre-wired it. And if you wanna see how we do our electrical system, that's actually what we're doing next. So definitely subscribe down below to see that video and don't miss out on it. All right, now it's time to start laying the mortar. So I'm gonna use this trowel that's specific for tiling and uh, just scrapes on. And I think that's all there is to it. That's where we're gonna leave it tonight for the tile. It's looking really cool. I'm really, really liking it. And you can see there's a bunch of blank spots that we still need to fill in obviously, but all those pieces are pieces that we need to cut. So that's the goal for tomorrow. But right now it's like probably a little more than 50% of the way done with just putting it on, which is really, really awesome. Super exciting. Three stores later, I finally have got a tile cutter, a wet tile saw. Oh my God, this morning has been a hassle trying to get this thing and trying to get it to work. I went to Lowe's, they didn't have it. So I went to a, diff a Home Depot, they didn't have it. I went to a different Home Depot, they had it, but they gave me the wrong cord so I couldn't plug it in and it's just been a hassle. But we have it, we're all set. I can finally start cutting. I have some water here. I'm gonna pour it in this and then get started on cutting the last pieces of the tile. Shouldn't take too long. That's the last step before I can put it all on. <sighs> all right, that was the first test piece. Didn't come out super clean, so I'm gonna try to figure out a better way to do this, but at least the wet tile saw works. <laughs>
All right, here we go. Last piece of the tile. <sighs> wow. You know, that was actually a lot more stressful today than I thought it was going to be. It took a lot getting these cuts done and clean, but it was worth it because I think this is gonna look really, really good. Now we have to let this all dry for a bit, but I think that's where we're gonna end it off for the tile segment of this. So, hold up. Wait, where's the Sharpie? Here's the Sharpie. Start tile backsplash is Start tile backsplash. We finished it. Done. Oh, that. What happened on that marker? I don't know. It's kind of dead. But start slash finish. Well, we still have to put the grout in, but that's done. Let's go. I'm so happy to be done. This is going to be the final day of working on this side storage cabinet. Today, it will be done. I was messing with it last night for a while to figure out exactly what was the problem. Found that middle piece was the problem. I've cut the middle piece a few times to try to fix it. Now I'm gonna put it in, test it out again. I didn't get to test my last cut last night, so let's test it out now. Let's go. Perfect. Now that all our drawers are created, and everything works. We're going to not actually have them on the floor, but instead we'll have a little door on the floor and the drawers are gonna be raised up here. So I need to build up a little platform for them now. of work to get here and a lot of trial and error but it works now it looks great it's functional very happy with this <laughs> one final item on this list and that's to cut a door for the bottom of this cabinet and with that the side storage cabinet is Done. One drawer. Two drawers. Three drawers. And a door. Guys, want to check out the side storage cabinet? Yes, I do. Work. Yes, I do. This, this top one is the worst one. Top one's a little tight. Oh, that one's sick. Woo! Woo wee! Let's go. Video. That's awesome, Dylan. Great Thank work, Dylan. Great work. Very nice. Cross it off the list, Bill. Cross it off the list. Yeah, let's cross it off the list. Let's grab the list. Build side storage. Oh, the Sharpie barely works. <laughs> done. <laughs> it's done. It's, it's not really crossed off, but it's, it is. It's crossed off. It's done. Woo! Okay. There's only one more thing on this list left to do. Trim around the windows. That's going to be my job. I'm going to try and get that completed today. I'm not sure if I'll be able to, but that's what I'm going to be working on right now is building out something, some type of trim for all three of our windows. And because I'm sure you're not in the mood to watch any more wood cutting clips from us, here's just a little quick magic trick. All the wood is going to be done in three, two, one. Boom, there we go. All 24 pieces of our window frame is cut. Each of these stacks is its own window. Now it's time to get all of this inside the truck, test it on the windows, hopefully install. All right, so this is how the window frame is going to work. We've got two different kinds of pieces, the thicker exterior frame and then this piece that goes on the inside. And basically, we're going to attach them to form a corner piece like this. See that? 
And then you're gonna take this corner piece and put it in right here. So that all we're going to be able to see is this wide piece here. And this inner piece is going to be covering up all of this, you know, unpainted wood and insulation and all that kind of stuff. All that jazz. All right, there's pretty much what the frame is going to look like when I'm holding it up right now. And I think even though on our list it says finish window trim as the thing that we're trying to get done in this video, we're just not going to be able to. It's going to take a little too much time to actually get these finalized. But this is a really good opportunity for you. We want you guys to comment. Whoops. Whoop. We want to see some comments down below. Do you think that we should live, leave this trim wood colored? Should we stain it? Should we have it match the countertops? Or should we paint it white so that it matches the walls? We'd love your design input. And if you've made it all the way through this video already, you might as well scroll down and leave your opinion in the comment section down below. So just make sure you do that before you go. White or colored? Because we can't decide. <laughs> My arms are getting tired. Shall we drop it? One, two, three. And that's our window frame. <laughs> it's crossed off the list. Let's cross off this final thing. Boom. Boom, 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 wow. boom. Nice to have a Sharpie that works. Can you cross up Joe's side that storage? Works. Let's read that. That Sharpie was not working last night. Wow. Now we're good. Now we're good. We accomplished a lot in this video. And I remember at the start, Chase said that we might be finishing the interior. And although I still don't think the interior is done, it's definitely looking very transformed. Completely different than when we started Absolutely. this video. It's wild to look at it and see the cabinets, the wall completed, the tile, and it's amazing. So happy. Yeah, you can see behind us, at the beginning of this video, it was literally empty and XPS everywhere. And now it looks like this, which is crazy. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching. Drop a like below if you enjoyed this video. And like Chase said earlier, comment what you think we should do with the window trim. True. We need your help, so help <laughs> us out, please. <laughs> and also subscribe because we have an exciting video coming next. We're gonna do our whole electrical system. Hopefully, if it works. <laughs> and with that. Woo, we just crossed it off. Done with the video. Let's go.